take a look at this disaster. Um, hi. <laughs> uh, sorry, how can, how can I assist you? <laughs> Isn't this a hair salon? Y yeah, it is. Sorry, I, I'm just... I'm just not quite following, and, and would, you, would you just mind keeping your voice down a little bit? We like to uh, maintain a peaceful environment here. So. Look at my hair! It's a mess! I will not stay peaceful with messy hair! I need it to be fixed immediately. Okay, got it. I, I understand now. You, you know, in my honest opinion, your, your hair doesn't actually seem that bad to me. I, Spare I, I, me the flattery. My regular style botched it yesterday with a terrible blowout that looks just so unnatural. Sorry, you, you didn't like your blowout? No, are you listening to me? Hello? Fix it. I have a big fashion gala tonight at the Met, and I need to look impeccable. Uh, understood. Um, sorry about the confusion earlier. Uh, I think we're going to get this sorted out right away. Uh, by the way, can I have your name? Just uh, You don't know who I am? I'm Victoria Reed, as in the Victoria Reed, as in if you've ever read a magazine in your life, then you will know who I am. I'm quite renowned in the fashion industry. Absolutely, my apologies. Um, why don't you follow me? I'll introduce you to Eliza, our top stylist here. Took you long enough. Eliza, this is our next client. This is Victoria. Hello, Victoria. Pleasure to meet you. <laughs> yeah, I'll pass. Sorry, is there a problem? Do you perhaps have other stylists available? Well, actually, Eliza's our lead stylist for the afternoon, and I assure you she's the best we have. I can get you started with whatever it is that you're looking for. <sighs> Fine. Let's just get this over with. Okay. Great, well, uh, I'll leave you guys to it, and I'll be here if you need anything. Great, thanks, Liam. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Gosh, would you hurry it up already? Oh, of course. Uh, what can we get? Okay, actually, first, do you mind wearing gloves? I'm not comfortable otherwise. Our tools and hands are always sanitized, but sure. I can wear gloves if it comforts you. Your type sure does have a way with germs and spreading them around, don't you? Hmm, okay. I'm not sure what you meant by that, but no problem. Gloves coming on. Thank you. Now can we please move this along? If I'm late for the gala, heads will roll. Oh, you're going to the Met Gala tonight. That's so dreamy, and the fashion is always so amazing. It's been a dream of mine to go for a long time. <laughs> Of course, it's your dream. It's every woman's dream to attend the Met Gala, but you can't just let anybody in. Then it will lose all of its allure. Maybe one day you can work there as a server or something. I'd really love to model or do some styling there. <laughs> you modeling at the Met Gala? OMG, give me a break. <laughs> I didn't know you were a comedian too. <laughs> That's about the craziest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> A girl can dream, right? Well, to your point, I do believe they're becoming way too inclusive with the guests that they're letting in. I, it seems like they're just trying to appease everyone these days. I personally find it disgusting. But fashion is for everybody, right? It seems to make sense to me that they would like to have all types of people at the event. Of course, you have this typical woke opinion. How original of you. Let's just focus on the hair, shall we? Of course. Okay. Okay, enough of the fluffing. What is going on here? Why can't you people just do a simple job? Why do you have to drag it out? What, you think if you take a longer time, I'm going to tip more? <gasps> Newsflash, I'm not. Um... Uh. You people? What do you mean by you people? <laughs> you know exactly what I mean by you people. I don't want to sugarcoat it anymore. You and all the people like you should go back to where you came from because this country is full. <laughs> what on earth are you talking about? People like you are bad for America. You steal our jobs, work for less. It it's completely out of control. 
And I am sorry if you are jealous of the immense success that I've had, but that's just the way it is, all right? Ma'am, I was born in Pasadena. Are you implying that because I'm a different complexion to you that I don't belong in the United States of America? Why do you have to be so prejudiced? Always playing the victim card, aren't you? <sighs> Sorry, what's going on here? Uh, Liam, she's... This woman burned me with the hair dryer. There is no way that she is a professional. I demand compensation. Wait, what? Liam, that's a lie. I didn't even touch her with the hair dryer. This woman has been throwing around racist remarks since she got here, and now she's lying, saying I burned her hair. It's ridiculous. That is complete nonsense. You should be grateful I even came in here. Okay, everybody calm down. Eliza, is there any chance you burned her with the hair dryer? Any chance no, at all? No, no, absolutely not. I haven't even used the hair dryer once. I haven't even plugged in any appliances. This is completely ridiculous. Don't listen to her. You know her type. Her people are liars from top to bottom. Okay, okay, ma'am, I've heard enough. I trust Eliza completely, and given your attitude since you walked in here, I'm not surprised by your behavior. Whoa, whoa, wait a second. Are you saying you are going to take her side over mine? Yes, ma'am. How much more do I have to spell it out for you? You're going to regret this. I will ruin your reputation. Yeah, good luck. Well, this store has a ton of security cameras. So in case you want to accuse us of something that we didn't do, I could always put that security footage from today online. Then we'll see who has more damage done to their reputation. You wouldn't do that. Oh, I most certainly would. Now leave our salon. People with your attitude aren't welcome here. You haven't heard the last of me. You'll regret this. I'm so sorry about that, Eliza. You, you don't deserve to be treated like that and have to experience that whole ordeal. I appreciate that, Liam. You know, thank you for always, always having my back. Of course, anytime. Why don't you take a break? I think you deserve it. Yeah, thank you. I think I'm gonna go get a Grand Slam and a cup of coffee. Okay. <laughs> well, enjoy it. Thank you.